shocking discovery. It was one of the worst things I've ever seen. At a New York reptile zoo. Somebody could really get hurt. Fox 5 News investigates tonight at 10. like partying this morning after yesterday's storms. Oh, we got a little bit of a break this morning at least, huh? Yes, thankfully. It's 72 degree, uh, degrees right now. We get a bit of a break from the storms and the rain, but they are coming back, and we'll get the latest from Mike in a couple of minutes. It's 6.57 right now. Nice shot from Midtown there. Hey, some scientists in Brazil are trying to build a better brew. We're talking coffee, and get <laughs> this, they're using DNA to do it. The plant's genetic structure, its DNA, is what creates the different aromas and caffeine levels. Researchers have now mapped the DNA and say they can now mix and match it. The results could be higher quality, better tasting coffee with a bigger caffeine kick. There Isn't you go. All righty then. And here's a look at what's ahead on Good Day New York. The countdown has begun, of course, to the Republican National Convention, and so have all those traffic concerns. We will talk with the city's traffic guru, Gridlock Sam, help you navigate around it all. And maybe you have a dream job, a place you'd like to be but aren't, but we'll help you make it a reality with what you can do to make it happen coming up. I'm all excited here. Legendary quarterback John Elway is in our studio, fresh from his induction into the Football Hall of Fame. I wonder if he'll chuck a pass to me. <laughs> I'm going to ask him. He'll probably knock you out with the pass. Yeah, he might. Put it right through me. <laughs> exactly. All that plus all the headlines, your morning commute, and the whole gang. It's coming up right now on Good Day New York. Live from the Fox 5 television studios in New York City, you're watching Good Day New York. Thousands of U.S. and Iraqi troops launch a major assault against the key Iraqi city of Najaf. It's a Shiite stronghold with strong and often violent resistance to the new Iraqi government. Good morning, I'm Chris Galis. And I'm Lucy Nolan. Jim Ryan is on vacation. More on Iraq in a minute. But first, Mike Woods is following two major storms that are going to definitely impact our area. Good morning, Mike. Hey, good morning to you there, Chris and Lucy. Yes, we've got uh, what could be a very messy situation coming up for us a little bit later on. Of course, outside right now, it's nice and quiet with just some clouds sitting on top of the Empire State Building. But we're also tracking a couple of tropical systems out there. We have Tropical Storm Bonnie as well as Hurricane Clyde. Let's take a look at the maps and show you what's happening right now. This is Tropical Storm uh, Bonnie about to make landfall probably late this morning or right around lunchtime today around the uh, Panhandle of Florida, somewhere near Apalachicola. It has winds of around 50 miles per hour and is rolling to the northeast at 16 miles per hour. And we also have Hurricane Clyde now. Are, that actually, I should say, is... Charlie! Charlie, did I say that again? Yes. Yep. I tell you what, you ruined me. No, it, sh it, it should be Bonnie Charlie. and Clyde. It should, it be. should be Bonnie and Clyde. I know it should be. I am so <laughs> busted. <laughs> Moving to the northwest at 15 miles per hour, it now is a Category 1 hurricane. The bad news is with this storm, it's going to start to head up this way. The remnants from this storm will be here by tomorrow from Bonnie. And then Charlie, the remnants from that storm, will be here by sometime later on Saturday into Sunday. Could bring us a lot of rainfall and potential for much more flooding. And flood watch is already posted for the tri-state area today. So we've got a lot to talk about. Your full forecast is coming up in just a few minutes. Right now, let's head on over to Laney with traffic. Hey, Laney. Hey there, Mike. And uh, we do have new problems out there with an accident southbound on the Garden State Parkway at exit 145. A few more things to let you know about as well in just a few. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Laney. A tragic story to tell you about today. A young couple killed here in Queens when those storms rolled through the city last night. We'll tell you how it happened and how you can make sure nothing like that happens to your family. But first, good morning, Lynn. Good morning to you. Well, he was a Denver Bronco all the way, the man with the drive, John Elway, live in the studio, talking sports with Chris, but you won't believe what he's going to talk to me about. Reflux. Good morning, Ernie. Oh, wow. Hey, good morning, Lynn. So your fantasy jobs are golf pro, restaurateur, fashion designer. Well, coming up in this hour, we're going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to make your fantasies come true. Good morning, Teresa. Good morning, Ernabelle. Well, it is Beauty Shop Week, and, and today it's all about doggy do. That didn't sound right. It's about giving doggies new do's, which is what they specialize here at Biscuits and Bath on East 13th Street. And some of these gorgeous dogs are going to get makeovers today. So now, hey, don't smell me there. That's rude. You can drool on me. So now I'm sending it back. 
to the best in show, Chris Galis and Lucy Nolan. <laughs> Aw, thanks very much, Steve. We'll check back with you a little bit later on, but first, here are our top stories. Yeah, Sunshine State is bracing for some wicked weather this morning. Hurricane and Tropical Storm are both on the horizon. Resorts in the Florida Keys have been evacuated ahead of Hurricane Charlie, and they're boarding up windows in the western panhandle in preparation for Tropical Storm Bonnie. Across the state, people are stocking up on supplies. We're getting water and some uh, batteries, uh, non-perishable foods, just to be prepared in case uh, the power goes out or the water goes out, that kind of stuff. State officials are warning businesses against price gouging on gas and groceries during the emergency. As Florida braces for its severe weather, the cleanup continues from some of our own. And the powerful storms that rumbled through yesterday had deadly results. Fox 5's Mark Joyella is in the College Point section of Queens with more for us. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Chris. I'm on 15th Avenue, and it was along this street that a young couple was driving right as those rainstorms were moving through this area. In fact, this entire street ended up flooded. Well, as they drove along, their car stalled. It was rising water. They were obviously afraid. The young woman got out of the car. Her boyfriend saw that. He got out as well. They did not apparently ever notice a fallen power line, 4,000 volts, both of them electrocuted. The female driver got out of the car. When she stepped down and touched the ground, she completed the circuit for the electrical current, in essence, grounding herself, and at that point became electrocuted. I heard scream, woman scream, and I saw guy was in front of the red car, which was here in the middle of this intersection, and he fell down in the water and he was floating. Witnesses say they shouted at the couple telling them to stay in the car that that would be safe. The tires would protect them from the fallen power line. Apparently they never heard those cries and certainly did not see the power line. A very tragic story in Queens this morning. We're live here this morning. I'm Mark Joyella. Good day, New York. Now back to you. All right. Thanks, Mark. Crews have been working through the night to restore power to areas where storms knocked it out. Right now, Con Ed says about 200 customers are still without power in the five boroughs. There are about 200 homes without electricity in central New Jersey and about 1,150 customers still in the dark in Passaic, Essex, and Bergen counties. Major assault is underway in the Iraqi city of Najaf. Thousands of U.S. troops are taking part in the showdown against forces loyal to radical Shiite cleric Muqtada al-Sadr. Troops have cordoned off the area around the Imam Ali Shrine and the surrounding cemetery. They are two of the holiest sites in Shiite Islam. The goal is to isolate al-Sadr's fighters who have taken refuge in the area. One city leader wants stores and shoppers to get a break for dealing with the hassles of the Republican National Convention. Council Speaker Gifford Miller is calling for a special tax-free week. He wants stores to get an extra boost in sales to make up for a possible loss during convention week. The mayor opposes the plan. He insists the week will still be a profitable one for businesses. I kind of like the tax-free week. <laughs> Shoppers would love it. Tax-free month, tax-free year. I'm kind of <laughs> thinking that would be the day to go shoe shopping, Lynn. Oh, absolutely. I'll tell you what. We uh, are going to be taxed heavily by the weather over the next uh, 24 to 36 yeah. hours, uh, Florida especially, in the eye of the storm. And we're going to get the latest now from Mike Woods, who joins us. Morning, yes, uh, Lucy and Chris, unfortunately, they're getting hit the hardest, but we've had our own problems here. Even though we are getting a bit of a break right now, we've got a lot more to deal with when it comes to Mother Nature. But outside right now, we've got 72 degrees with uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies. Not that bad yet, and even the temperatures really aren't so bad. Fairly comfortable for even this time of the year. 67 in Sussex, 73 in Newark, 72 out at JFK. On the radar, yes, we do have a few showers and storms popping up, mainly over the lower Hudson River Valley and back down through uh, New